Great looking horse. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Or is it the horse that you're interested in? <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Fleet Arab. Nelson. <laughs> his name is Norman Brinker. He's an enlisted man in the Navy, and he's the youngest member of the United States equestrian team. But why don't you find out those things for yourself? Uh, Norman. <laughs> Norman. Hey, Mr. Fisher. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine and a fellow reporter. Marine Connolly. This is Norman Brinker. Hi. Hi. When does uh, little Mo find time to be a reporter? Oh, I'm really just a copy boy and a gopher. She adds a little style to the newsroom. Marine would like to have a chance to find out more about you uh, for the newspaper, Colin. Sure. What do you want to know? Um. Uh. The basic facts, Mo. Right. Right. Um. <laughs> um. Married or single? Single. And dedicated to staying that way. Uh. Where did you learn to ride? I grew up on a ranch in New Mexico. Look, I really should be working out. Maybe we could pick this up later? All right. You in the phone book? Uh, yeah, under Jay Connolly. Okay, I'll give you a call. Okay. Hey, uh, I'm out a lot. Keep trying. <laughs> Is it true that uh, sailors have a girl in every port? I don't know. I haven't been in that many ports yet. Do uh, tennis stars have a boyfriend at every tournament? Well, some do. <laughs> no, I think you and I are about the same place. We can enjoy being friends without getting too serious. Exactly. Well, getting back to my article, um, what other interests do you have besides horses? I was on the tennis team at school. Tennis? Well, how about a few friendly games? apologize for being world's champion. Are you mad? Next time you suggest a friendly game, let's make it checkers. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Australia. Well, have the Navy send you now. <laughs> All right. I'll take it up with the Admiral first thing in the morning. How long do you think you'll be there? Two months at least. And I'm the world's worst letter writer. Now, there I can give you real competition. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't want you to think that you had to write to me. Yeah, I know how busy you'll be. Yeah. Well, you'll probably be off to some other port before I get back. Probably. Maybe if you're not, maybe we could pick up where we left off. Mosi, how do you really feel about me? Feel about you? Well... I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not. I guess this means we're still at the same place. <laughs> I'm trying hard to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> You went to Europe that summer of 1953 to try for the Grand Slam, to win the Australian, French, English, and American championships in a single year. Don Budge was the only man ever to hold all four titles at the same time. In spite of some sharp play from Doris Hart, you left Paris the new French champion. And across the channel at Wimbledon, it was again Hart and Connolly in the finals. And you had three out of four. Only Forest Hills left. A good year. You're first on your own. Somehow our paths just never seem to cross. Plans now. Are you going to take a holiday? I'm going back excuse, to San Diego. Excuse me, uh, Miss Connolly, there's a telephone call for you in Mr. McCauley's office. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. 
Thank you. Overseas call for you, dear. Oh, hello, operator. She's here now. Thank you. Hello? Congratulations, Wo. <laughs> Nelson, how did you find out so fast? We just got word over the wire. You're on your way for the Grand Slam, kiddo. And we're proud of you. How's Sophie? She's just fine. Listen, hold on now. Someone here wants to talk to you. Hold on. Mosey, congratulations. Norman! Norman, all oh, this makes it almost perfect. Oh, if only you were here. Maybe next year. Let's plan on it. Maureen, I've been waiting to tell you this until after the match today. I'm being shipped out. When? Tomorrow. You won't be there when I get home? I'll be at sea five months. Oh. We're never gonna have any time together. Oh, sure we will. Years and years. Look, this is costing Nelson a bundle. I'll keep writing. I love you, Bright Eyes. I love you. Norman. Hi. Maureen? Norman. I guess your mom probably told you. I uh, tried to fly out the day it happened. Usual red tape. They finally got tired of me calling the Pentagon. I want you to know that the Secretary of the Navy himself personally authorized my leave. He's a big fan of yours. This is my room. Anyway, I'm uh, sorry it took me so long to get here. Well, you really didn't have to come at all. Mosey, I... Uh... A few weeks of therapy and I'll be as good as new. Better. Is that what the doctors say? That's what I say. Of course, it'll be a full-time job. Meaning no room in your life for anything else or anybody else. Look, Maureen, I, uh, I talked to Nelson and Sophie. They told me what the doctor said. No more tournament tennis? Finished at 20. <laughs> Just starting. Look, you had a dream once, a big one. You made it all happen. Okay, time for a new dream. I need you, Maureen. You need me. This accident, it hasn't changed what's between us? Or what isn't between us? I love you, Maureen. In an emotional crisis like this, people tend to let their feelings take over. They rush into commitments that they'll regret later. Will you marry me, Maureen? Norman, you don't understand. Right now, I don't know who I am. What I am. I'm nobody. Nothing. I want to make you unhappy. Then quit stalling and say you'll marry me right away. I don't know. Don't try to hold me out with these. You're wasting time, Marie. That's not like you. Let's get this new life of ours started. What do you say? Oh, Norman, I do love you. And I do need you. And I will marry you. And I will marry you. But right now, please, just hold me tight.